American Polymath Benjamin Franklin Born on Milk Street in Boston in 1706, Benjamin Franklin is a well-known figure from American history. Widely recognized as one of the United States founding fathers, his iconic image adorns the face of the hundred dollar bill. He is credited with numerous contributions to science, culture, and government. He served in multiple important positions in government, including as Postmaster General, President of Pennsylvania, and Ambassador to France. He lived until 1790, and throughout his long and illustrious career, he was regarded as the perfect example of American fashion, industriousness, and ingenuity. Franklin was what's known as a polymath. He was adept at many different disciplines. He was a leading author, a printer, political theorist, politician, a Freemason, he was the Postmaster General of the United States, a scientist, an inventor, a humorist, civic activist, a statesman, and a diplomat. Many people remember Benjamin Franklin for his contributions to science. He made major advances related to diverse subjects, including electricity, demography, cartography, meteorology, and oceanography. Franklin was a printer by trade, and through this vocation, he was able to promote his own ideas on a diverse range of subjects. This made him one of the most influential figures in American history. You could say that Franklin was the major social media influencer of his day. He published newspapers, books and other materials, and over the course of his early life, this made him a very well-known figure and also a very wealthy one. He published a newspaper called the Pennsylvania Gazette, as well as being involved in other newspaper projects, and every year he published his Poor Richard's Almanac. This contained the calendar, weather, poems, aphorisms, astronomical and astrological information, puzzles, and most notably, it served as a repository of Franklin's wisdom and proverbs. Much of this survives today in the form of popular sayings. Some examples are, three may keep a secret if two of them are dead. Lost time is never found again. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Benjamin Franklin directed his attention early in life towards self-improvement. Franklin sought to cultivate his character by a plan of 13 virtues, which he developed at age 20 and continued to practice in some form for the rest of his life. His autobiography lists 13 virtues as follows. 1. Temperance. Eat not to dullness, drink not to elevation. 2. Silence. Speak not, but what may benefit others or yourself. Avoid trifling conversation. 3. Order. Let all your things have their places. Let each part of your business have its time. 4. Resolution. Resolve to perform what you ought. Perform without fail what we resolve. Frugality. Make no expense but to do good to others or yourself. That is, waste nothing. Industry. Lose no time. Be always employed in something useful. Cut off all unnecessary actions. Sincerity. Use no hurtful deceit. Think innocently and justly, and if you speak, speak accordingly. 8. Justice. Wrong none by doing injuries 
or omitting the benefits that are your duty. 9. Moderation Avoid extremes. Forbear resenting injuries so much as you think they deserve. 10. Cleanliness Tolerate no uncleanliness in body, clothes, or habitation. 11. Tranquility. Be not disturbed at trifles or at accidents common or unavoidable. 12. Chastity. Rarely use venery but for health or offspring, never to dullness, weakness, or the injury of your own or another's peace or reputation. 13. Humility. Imitate Jesus and Socrates. Franklin would work on one and only one of these virtues each week, leaving, he wrote, all others to their ordinary chance. While by his own admission he fell short of these virtues many times, he believed the consistent efforts in this direction made him a better man. He felt this greatly contributed to his success and happiness, and his autobiography, he devoted more attention to this plan than to any other single point. He did this in the hope, he wrote, that some of my descendants may follow the example and reap the benefit. I believe that Franklin's systematic approach to life, as well as his cutting wit and sharp insights, are more valuable today than ever. With the decline of critical thinking skills in our society and in the overwhelming face of modern information overload, it is more important than ever before to have a clear understanding of one's own personal values, beliefs, and goals. I think Franklin's greatest contribution is that he provided an example of how to live life well. We can all learn from his simple, clear-headed approach to life and his ability to derive enjoyment from creative endeavors undertaken in the spirit of civic duty and public benefit. I believe this is a logical answer to many difficult problems we face in the world today.